Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will let you know how to import and directly plot data in PowerPoint. In order to do this, your data must be saved in an Excel sheet. So let's begin. How can we do this? You can do this by first coming to Insert tab and in Insert tab to Illustration Group, click Chart. When you click Chart, this window opens up and there are different options available. Uh, you can choose one of the options for your plotting. Uh, however, we can change these options later on and I will let you know how can we do that. My data is in fact a 2D data and I want to click on XY schedule. If I click this, some other options are available. You can get either only points, the points joined by line or lines whatever suits you uh, click on that option and presently I'm clicking on lines if I click this and then click OK PowerPoint opens this chart this is a temporary chart and has added temporary data and I want to label each column according to my own data so I call this uh, a parameter decaying parameter and then I move to the second cell and call this as Q1 data. And then I add one more a column for another data and I call it Q2. Now I open my data sheet which is this one and I copy each column one by one. I copy the data by pressing Ctrl C and come back to PowerPoint and paste the data by first selecting the number of columns which I have already copied. Since there is one additional row due to labeling, therefore I choose 122 rows and press Ctrl V. So the data is imported. Now I do the same for the rest two columns and press Ctrl C to copy the data and come back to PowerPoint and then again select the same number of rows like I did before that is 122 rows and press Ctrl V to move the data and you see the plot automatically appears for this data. I do the same for the third column and then press Ctrl V to import the data. So now we have two curves. I cancel this. I don't need this. And uh, I have three options available over here. If I click on this, it tells me what to add to your plot. For example, if I click on this, it will, if I click on chart title, it will add a button of chart title, which you can modify any time. This is quantum. This is, then I come over here, this provides different options for your background and chart styles. For example, if I drop down this here, you can choose any one you want. If I right click somewhere on the chart, then I come over here and change ch chart type. So if I click this option, it will take me to the initial one and I can change the style of the chart. If I click on this one, now bullets will be added to different data points. So you can change the style at any point. Then I click again and uh, I come over here, edit data. If I click on this, it will reopen the data sheet on Excel. So you can reopen this whenever you want. You can change the title, etc. And similarly, if I want to change the format, the color or the width of the line, I come over here. First, I change plot area. I choose series Q1. If I click on this and then come over here, I can change the width of the line and the format of the line let me if i choose three points so it will change the width of the lines similarly i can change the style of the line by coming here and can put this to dash or dash dotted i can put this to dotted line etc you can do the same with the second line by changing this option to q2 
and you can change the color from here for example i go to red color so it will become red and so on so this way you can import your data and plot it directly in powerpoint if you haven't yet subscribed to safi max kindly support the channel by pressing the subscribe button and also hit the like button on the video thanks for watching